Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hey. This is kind of where the whole thing starts. That's right. So this is, has a lid which is controlled in the control room, which we can open up. Once it's open, you can use this uh, hoist to lower biomass yeah. in, okay? This is going to create fuel. This is going to create three different kinds of fuel before that process is done. Yes. Of course, wood by itself is a fuel. Sure. But it's not as good a fuel yeah. as if you separate it. So we see here, uh, this isn't cutting down a tree. This is actually an invasive species mm. that's common to much of Southeast Asia. It came from Mexico originally called Lucana, and it's an invasive species. It's considered basically an invasive bush. So it's very hard to make furniture out of this mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, nobody wants it. Yeah. The farmers consider it a nuisance, but we can use it as, uh, as a starting point for fuel. Make charcoal with wood just out in the real world, but um, what's happening in here? What, what, what kind of chemical process is, is happening to turn a regular wood chip into a piece of charcoal? basically heat in the absence of oxygen, okay? So when it's immersed under the molten salt, liquid salt, oxygen cannot get mm -hmm. in there. So you're heating it in the absence of oxygen. You could do this also with flue gas where you burned all the oxygen, but it will take you days to make charcoal. This does it in yeah. 10 minutes. This is a tank to which we add heat to melt mm -hmm. and heat up the salt. So it starts off, you know, looking very much like table salt, mm -hmm. but it's chemically different. And then we heat it up until it becomes molten. So it's a liquid. Yeah. And that salt contains a huge amount of heat, much more, thousands of times more than if this was flue gas, for example, okay? And that's what our advantage is, thousands of times more than the traditional method yeah. for the same volume. After this whole big process has happened, how do we turn that into electricity? Okay, well, the same way that you turn coal uh, into electricity. You can boil water, for example, the steam can expand mm -hmm. and turn the turbine, which will generate electricity. That's one way of doing it, okay? We would prefer, actually, that people don't do this, even though it's carbon neutral. Some people want, will want to do it, and that's fine. But an even better use of this charcoal this, as we said, to put it into the ground, in which yeah. case it's actually carbon negative. It sequestered the carbon that would have uh, gone back into the air if you let the biomass rot. But you don't let it rot, you turn it into charcoal. So in that way, you can actually reverse climate change. Yeah. And we've got this burner over here. This is potentially a way of taking what we've got here and converting it into energy right. and sending that into the real world. So people may know that you can generate electricity by burning coal yeah. or oil or uh, natural gas. It's all the same process. You take something, you add heat to it, it expands and it starts to move. If you make it move very fast, you can drive it past a turbine and generate electricity. Okay, that's it. Yeah. <laughs>